Now, I've called my lecture, Then and Now. And I'm indebted to the late Josephine Bradley. When she died, she left me most of her memoirs. She was an avid writer. She wrote everything down, even when she judged the competition, she wrote down her comments and got them all in a book. So that many of the things I'm going to speak about this afternoon, they are from Joe Bradley's memoirs. Now, you all see the competitions, you watch the competitions, and you see it all, what's happening. But it had to have a beginning. Now, in 1922, before I was born, not much before I was born, <laughs> but in 1922, Victor Sylvester, dancing with Phyllis Clark, won the world's championships. And the waltz that he danced was called the Round Waltz. I think what we shall do is we'll show you the Round Waltz. Tony will dance it for me. Now at this stage, posture was not important. The lady's style was smaller, it was a little more in. It wasn't as bold and as open as it is today. But this was the round waltz of 1922. No, 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 no. It's the wrong one. Um. Sorry, give me 21. 21. Coming up. No. All right, let's try number nine. Joe's notes, she wrote that it was rather strange. No one ever turned to the right. Only, as you saw Tony doing it now, only turned to the left. 